I mean, all I can remember about the Olympics was, was probably when I was like six or seven watching it on TV. And I think that's when I was like, I want to go. But I really don't realize how big of a deal it was. I remember asking my, our, my coach when I was that young, I was like, what's the like highest, how did I say it? Basically, what's like the best thing I can achieve out of swimming? And they were like, well, if you make the Olympics, that's a pretty big deal. That's probably one of the best things you can do. And I was like, okay, I want to I wanna do that. And I never really realized that it's maybe at that time near impossible, but I, I don't know, I kind of had it at the back of my head ever since then. I think I fulfilled that dream for that child, but this one's like my personal goal as an adult. Okay. And for me to be able to go for my second time is such, it's like, I can't even think that would happen. Like when I did London and afterwards I actually had an interview here and then they asked me about Rio and I was like, I don't know. Like, you know, I, I wasn't really thinking about it back then just because not a lot of people, especially from my country, get to do it twice. So to be able to go back and do a better job this time, I think that's something to look forward to for me. Well, I think that this is a totally different experience. I think who she is as an athlete is uh, much different than who she was as an athlete four years ago. People work for it for more than four years. You know, some, some people that don't know swimming think that swimmers just train for it right after the next Olympics, but in reality, people actually work for the Olympics ever since they're kids. So to be able to be one of the two is actually a pretty amazing feat. Um, there's a lot of people out there that deserve, in my country, that I think deserve to go, but for me to be able to cho be chosen, I think it's pretty awesome. There's been something special about Jasmine in the last four years. Um, just the the dedication that she puts in, um, you know, and then, you know, maybe there's been a little bit too much pressure um, that she's put on herself. Uh, but I think that that's what makes her a great athlete. And I think that that's what makes Olympians is that, you know, they expect more from themselves than others expect from them. She's. She's really worked hard and we've worked together, I think, and as a team um, to make sure that, you know, she's using, you know, that that kind of, you know, high, you know, performance perfectionist mentality, but we're using it in a more positive um, way so that she can get the best performance out of herself. I think it's really exciting just because we work together for so long and to be able to actually see the I mean, she sees the outcome of our hard work, but to be able to be in this stage um, and to be able to tie everything in, so it's really exciting for me to have her there. I don't know how many people has done it before, but for me to be able to represent the Philippines and University of Hawaii is a really great achievement and accomplishment for me, something that I really look forward to.